Hey guys, it's Amy with The Traveling Couple, and I'm here to talk to you today um, about our, our journey to Mexico and how the COVID-19 is affecting that. So today is Friday, March 20th, 2020. We are 40 days away from um, going to uh, Mexico with Rio Bravo for our surgery. And this is video number two. If you haven't went back and watched the first one, go back and do that. Um, so the second video I wanted to make was going to be about us actually um, contacting Rio and talking to them and getting our um, getting our procedure booked and how we went about doing that and our plane tickets and what our plan was and all that but now with everything that's going on in the world um, I thought I needed to go ahead and and stop that for a second and give everybody an update on what is to come um, for us like I said we're 40 days away and um, yeah so today um, President Trump did one of his press conferences and he announced that they were going to close the Mexican border for non-essential travel. Um, what that entails for us is, um, I'm going to insert a clip here. Yeah, I see that. Okay, so um, I'm trying to pull up the picture on my on my phone here. And what exactly that means is... Um, uh, let me let me kind of go here um, essential activities that will not be impacted will um, be things like people who are going to cross the border for school or for medical purposes um, things like that you can still go back and forth um, but anybody that's just going leisurely for travel um, they won't be able able to go Um, so today, in, in the Rio group that I'm in, and I should have probably already pulled this up, but of course not, I didn't, because that's not who I am. I'm not prepared, of course. Um, it has been stated today, March 20th, heaven forbid I can never find the post. Bear with me, you guys. I'm that type of person that's not organized. Okay, so, the border is not technically closed. There are a lot of misunderstandings on the announcement today. The Canadian border is restricted for 30 days. The Mexico border is only restricting non-essential travel, which would be vacation, spring break, cruises, etc. But they are not restricting essential travel, which includes medical work, etc. For those who are needing and wanting a letter to verify your surgery and the date, they can print it and then you can um, you can get, be able to get across the border with the letter. Um, so currently I'm not working. Uh, the casino is closed. Kevin still works of course. He's, he's security. So they still um, have them there. But I'm gonna kind of backtrack a little bit with this COVID-19. Um, I've got my notes here. And so I kind of wrote down things. So on March 12th, that was, when was that? Well, that was just a few days ago, March 12th. So anyways, my job, they put a work travel announcement out that said if you travel to any state that was under a state of emergency, that as soon as you get back, you need to self quarantine and you cannot return to work for 14 days. Now, at the time, and this is this is what it looked like here okay so okay so if you traveled to any of these states on this list you would have to self quarantine for 14 days and not return back to work that included traveling to different countries or going on a cruise or whatnot ever okay so so I started thinking and I'm like holy crap we're going to Mexico now, it also says that you will not be paid, they will pull your vacation time, 
and that way you can at least have a little bit of pain. So I started panicking because I didn't, I don't have vacation time, so I wasn't worried about it, but Kevin does. And I didn't want his vacation to be taken because we have the cruise booked later this year. So I started having a panic attack and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to make us both be under quarantine. But then I stopped and I halted for a minute and I said, wait a minute, this is actually more beneficial to us. My short term disability paperwork for this procedure will probably not be approved because it's an elected surgery. So I need this two weeks off to actually um, be able to recover before I return back to work. So I started getting excited. I'm like, everything works out for a reason. So then, um, so that was great, but I was still worried about Kevin's vacation. So one day, um, a few days ago, I pulled his boss aside and I asked him, I told him the whole thing. And I said, I said, would he still be able to go on the cruise if they pull his vacation time? And I explained the whole situation with the trip and, and the whole journey and everything. And he says, I'm not going to dock him for that. He says he'll still be able to go on his cruise if they pull his vacation time. He's like, I'm, you know, I'm not that kind of guy. So everything's fine. So I was excited. I was like, all right, great. Okay. So remember that was on March 12th. Okay. On March 14th, the Rio group had put another announcement out that said at the moment, nothing was going to happen to affect anybody's surgeries. They were talking about on the news that they were going to start canceling all elective surgeries to open up hospital space for those who actually need it. And I can understand that's a good idea, but of course we're going to Mexico. Mexico is hardly affected by this at that time. So that wasn't going to be an issue. Okay. So on March, on March 16th at 2 45 PM, I'm at work and I get an email from from the company that I work for from the from the big boss stating that as of midnight March 16th all their facilities casinos included were going to be closed until March 31st um, at midnight so April 1st they would open back up And I'm flabbergasted. I'm shocked. I'm completely shocked. I'm like, whoa. And then I started thinking, I'm like, well, this is actually getting kind of serious that the casino is actually going to close. So they put this notice out and they said that all workers were going to be compensated, um, which none of us knew what that entailed. None of us knew what was going on. Management didn't even know what was going on. Um, so... I'm getting phone calls and flooded from employees and at the same time that this letter went out um, through email the news broadcasted it that you know all of these casinos were going to be closed and people were calling in are you closing employees are calling in they're freaking out I'm the only one in there answering the phones that day and within by by an hour later I had 58 missed calls because I could not keep up The phone just kept ringing. I was on the phone with someone and five other lines are just ringing in. And, and, and I just, I, I, at one point I remember hanging up the phone and I just leaned back and I said, I can't do this. I was just like, and I didn't know what to tell people. Finally, someone from HR came in and told me if employees call that just tell them that their managers will be getting in contact with them. And so that's what I started telling employees. People were hearing it on the news and, and customers. And I said, at this time, we are currently open. We're just, and then I just, I, it finally died down. But I was under so much stress because I was, for one, I was like, woo, work's closed, yay. And at the other time, I'm like, wait, what's happening? What's actually going on out there in the country? What's happening? So there was that. Um... But Kevin still had to go to work. His department and certain other departments, they they had they still had to go to work. So he's currently still working. Um, 
there's some days he works, some days he don't. He went in this morning, um, as, as normal, it's his, it's his Monday, so he went in and they told him, um, we actually don't, don't need you today, so, you know, go home. So, that was kind of exciting. So I was like, yay, get another day, but, um, but it still makes you wonder what's, what's actually going on out there. Um, so far, um, we've got things like the, the bars are closed, gyms are closed, the restaurants are only doing takeout, you can't go in and sit down. Um, we went to Panda Express the other day, and I'll insert some clips here. Okay, so the Panda Express, they took out all their chairs, and they had these squares on the floor, um, as you saw in the pictures, that's where you're supposed to stand. And it's like three feet apart from the person in front of you or the person behind you. And it's just, it's just weird. So we went to Walmart and we were just, we were just kind of in there to, I know we're supposed to stay inside, but we went to Walmart just to kind of get out and walk around and just to see what they had left or whatnot. And um, I'll insert some videos here. This is literally where all the hand soap would be at. And it's all gone. I mean, people are wiping clean on pads and tampons. Hopefully we still have shampoo. But it's looking a little thin as well. So you see that the shelves are empty, the, the, the cabinets are empty, everything's like gone. So Walmart has now, um, as of March 18th, uh, two days ago, um, so Walmart has cut down their hours. I guess it was yesterday actually that they, um, they cut down their hours some more. So instead of 6 to 11, they went from 7 to 8.30 so they can have time to restock. I'm just like, wow. So, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about um, with this COVID-19. Currently, nobody here is sick. We're still good. <laughs> um, but as of right now, everything is still a go. We're still good um, to go in 40 days. Um, our flights are still still scheduled as planned. Um, as for, we were going to go on a little getaway um, right before we went. We were going to go to Great Wolf Lodge and stay two nights. Um, but they're currently closed, and I have no idea when they're going to open. And so if they open, then we'll go as scheduled. If not, I'll just get my money back and... No worries. Not even, not even tripping on that. Okay, so... We did get confirmation that I, I am getting 100% pay for being off work. Um, Kevin, he, he kind of works on a day-by-day -day basis. Uh, he went in today, it's his Monday, and they sent him home as soon as he got there. They said he wasn't needed, so um, of course that's, that's with pay as well, 100% pay, so that's completely fine. Um, so you guys, uh, my best advice is to get a hobby. Um, we're supposed to return back to work April 1st, and with the way it's kind of going, you guys, I, I personally don't see that happening. Maybe April 15th, but not right now. I don't think April 1st. So get a hobby, stay busy, don't bundle up in groups of 10 or more, and whatever other stuff they're telling you to do, you guys. Um, I want everybody to be safe, and I want everybody to um, prevail from this, and just and just go on and and get back to normal eventually. Hopefully, by April 29th, when we have the surgery, of course. Um, 
and um, don't spend that stimulus check all in one place, okay? Uh, Uh, make sure you guys uh, hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel go through my my YouTube and uh, look at some of our funny videos uh, for those who don't know us it's so it's the best way you can actually uh, get to know us because uh, we're really crazy <laughs> but it's all in good fun so thanks you guys for watching um, stay healthy <laughs> see you soon